Hey everyone, in this video, I'll take you through a beginner's guide to Trinka AI. In order to do so, first off, here we are at Trinka.ai, and this is going to be the screen that's going to meet you when you first arrive here. So you can see there is a big start for free option here. We also see that up here at the top right hand corner, along with the login option. Let's go ahead and click start for free. And here you can see that we can either create an account with our email or with Google. I'll go ahead and use Google. But before we log in, let's just take a quick look here at what Trinka is all about. So here we have an AI powered writing assistant. So this is a grammar checker, a paraphraser, consistency checker, plagiarism checker, and proofread file. So that uh, right there is going to be a good thing for anybody who wants to avoid plagiarism. This is something that Trika will do, so that is quite nice. Then let's go ahead and click on create your account with Google. Just a couple clicks of the button. Here we are in Trinka. We'll just let it do its thing here for a moment. Okay, so now we're going to go through a few questions just to get us started here. What best describes your current role? Let's go ahead and say, oh, let's just go with editor. Why not? Then we have our let's get started button there. We're going to click that and that is actually going to take us into Trinka here. So we have a few options to explore. One thing I noticed right off the bat is we do have four credits to start. So if you want to try Trinka, then you can do that with four credits to start. I expect that is going to be four different files. And so you can try that out. And we also have the upgrade option here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So here you can see that you have our subscription plans with Trinka. So we have our premium, premium plus and enterprise. So if this is something that you think you are going to need, then you can subscribe accordingly. Let's go ahead and go back here and we'll see here on the left hand side what we have. We have my drive. We have proofread file. We have reports. And under that is citation checker, plagiarism checker, journal finder. We also have MS Word add-ins. We have browser plugins. We also have other apps. Let's go ahead and just click on MS Word add-ins. Let's see what we got there. Okay, so we've got the Windows add-in. We've got the Mac add-in under browser plugins. We've got Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. So if you want to put this as an extension on Chrome, I imagine that is what you're gonna do here is click on the Chrome option or the others, depending on what you need. Let's go ahead and take a look at other apps. And here we can see that there are links for Enago Read, Enago Learn, and Enago Academy. Okay, so let's then focus on creating a new file here. Let's go ahead and click new file. It is creating the file. Be just a moment here. Okay, so now we have our file settings and we have our file name. Let's go ahead and just call this untitled test. We can change our language preferences. It looks like we just have English and Spanish to choose from. And as far as the editing mode, we've got the power mode and we've got the light mode. We've got some more settings here. Let's just take a quick look at that. We've got our document type, general, academic, legal, style guide, inclusive language. So if you want to check for inclusive language, then there is actually a drop down for that. So here you can also skip for now or you can click apply. Let's go ahead and click apply. And we are now in our document. So from here, we have a variety of options at the top. We've got start writing or upload your document. Okay. We've got the grammar. We've got the paraphraser. 
we've got consistency and we've got reports so it looks like then what we would want to do in this case is uh, what I am kind of seeing here with Trinka is that it's essentially a word processor, not unlike Word or Docs or any other word processor that might be used. But the specific function here is to check grammar, to paraphrase, to check for consistency. And also we have our citation checker, plagiarism checker, and journal finder. So I, I would expect then that if you have a document that you're working on, then what you can do is you can come into Trinka and you can work here and you can use this as a tool to check these various things. So let's go ahead and t look at grammar. Let's, uh, let's just try bringing something in from ChatGPT here just as a test. I've already got something there. Okay, so you can see now that on the right hand side we have some grammar corrections. Uh, if you want to go with these suggestions, I don't think the grammar is off. I got it from ChatGPT, but it is showing that there are other ways that you might want to word this that might be better. So that could be very helpful. Let's go ahead and take a look at the paraphraser. Okay, it says select text from the editor to paraphrase. So let's go ahead and, ah, so once we select it, then you see here that it has the option to paraphrase. Let's go ahead and click that. And now it is working at paraphrasing. And here you can see that it's taking our words and it's striking out everything that it considers non-essential. So if you wanted to just, then let's go ahead and click replace. There you go. So that replaces our words over here and paraphrases them. So that is quite powerful as well. If you see the need for something like this, I can definitely see how this would be a very useful tool. Let's check consistency. And it says no consistency issues found. So I would expect that this is something that when you have your document at its final stages, or you just have more information than we currently have, then that is going to check for inconsistency issues. And that's another thing that's going to help you with your document and getting that as tight as possible. Finally, we have the reports here, citation checker. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we click on that. Identify weak citations in three simple steps. Submit file, get score, improve citations. Okay, so this is where it looks like you want to have a citation document that you're going to bring in here, and that is going to check your citations for you. Let's check the plagiarism checker. And here you can see that in order to use the plagiarism checker, it appears that you are going to want premium plus to do that. Let's try the journal finder. And here three easy steps to find the best journal to publish. Use abstract, enter the abstract of your paper in the text area, search journal. We'll do the magic. Our AI engine will search through millions of published abstracts and full papers to find the top five journals that publish similar articles. Okay. Choose from the top five journals. So what this is actually going to help is if you have a specific topic that you are working on and you want to find the best journal to publish, then that is going to help you do this. So that gives you an idea of everything that Trinka is capable of. It is definitely something that would be useful for journalists or anybody who's writing a paper, some really powerful tools here. That's all there is to it. We'll just stick with that for now. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.